Yo, what's going on guys? It is JD here back with another episode of the Nobody Spent A Road To Glory. And as you can see by the title and the thumbnail, your boy has made some huge moves today. Continuing on from yesterday when we picked up the Goat Tracy McGrady, Goat MJ, Goat Magic. We made big moves yesterday. Yesterday looks like absolutely nothing compared to what we have done today. And we've still got over a million MT in the bank. So don't you worry, there are still a few more moves that we're going to make before the end of the year. But today, very, very exciting indeed. Three of arguably the best GOAT cards out there. So arguably three of the best cards in the game coming through today. Very exciting. Of course, I'll go through how much I pay for those guys. We've got three locker code packs to open up from yesterday. Now, these were the creator codes from Killsmoy, Poor Boy Sin, and Kobe, I think. And then we've got uh, HTB's code to put in today as well. So we're going to have four packs to open up. Hopefully, maybe we'll get something. I don't know. We've opened up so many locker code packs lately and uh, never got anything from any of them, which kind of sucks. Uh, agenda today, though, we did actually do one of them. Purchase a Ruby Power Forward from the Auction House, and that got me two tokens. Easy as like. I'll take it. Thank you, 2K. Uh, and I still need to do all of the challenges, but I've heard these ones are still bugged. So let me know down below if you can actually play these, but I've heard people tried to get into that one the other day, and it was glitched, so that sucks. But if we do that multiplayer one, along with this offline one down here, and the moments one, I think that gets us 56 tokens in total, so that's a good couple of packs. That puts us at 62 tokens, uh, which is enough for quite a few Lights Out packs. It's enough for 10, because there's 6 tokens each. Quick maths. So yeah, we can open 10 Lights Out packs, which isn't bad, which will get us a little bit more MT in the bank, which is great. So before we jump into it, guys, I have already uploaded one video today, and that was an episode of The Road to Glory. And on that account, we spent about half a million MT and picked up 6 and the new goat cards so make sure you go ahead and watch that video and of course if you're new around here make sure you hit that subscribe button because the support lady has been incredible we've got 22,000 subs which is amazing thank you guys so much for your support and uh yeah 2k21 around the corner if you're excited for that game this is a place to be trust me on that and of course a massive shout out to the mvps and the goats of the channel for the mvps we've got heisenberg panda amru todd jong dr k will patrick bog ben arrow aiden seven and slinks he's safe and Sai. It's all in my memory somewhere, but it takes a little while to come out sometimes. Thank you guys so much for your support. And then we've got the GOATs, Eric, Jason, Cody, Z, Spooky, Caleb, Rohan, and Omar twice. You guys are amazing. If anybody else wants to become a member of the channel, there's a join button down below. If not, top line of the description, click on that, and it will show you how to get involved. All right, first things first, let's go ahead and put in HTB's locker code real quick. So it is GOAT, HTB, okay, let's not do that. Uh, and again, it's not for a GOAT pack. Uh, he did, of course, say that it was for a guaranteed one, but apparently that was just 2K telling him wrong, but I don't know how they could get that that wrong, but it is what it is, and this is... Oh, why is there a hashtag there? Why is there... It's because the stupid caps lock's on. Uh, there we go, B, P, and I think this is going to be exactly the same board as all of the other codes that we got yesterday were. So let's have a look. So I'm assuming C, a Showtime Takeover, Flash 8, 9, Fan Favorites 3... And that's exactly what we see. Uh, so yeah, Showtime or Takeover is what we want. Get Flash 8, Flash 9, real trash. Fan Favourites 3, real trash. Good stuff, 2K, good stuff. Okay, so we get the worst of the worst uh, from HTB code, HTB's code right there. But it is what it is. It's a free pack at the end of the day, so I guess we can't complain. So uh, I've got one Flash 8, a Takeover, a Showtime, and the Fan Favourites 3. So we'll get these two bad ones out of the way. And we've got the Showtime and the Takeover one at the end, which maybe we'll get something from. I doubt it. Oh, no, we won't because I've just clicked X too quickly. Takeover, Giannis. No, DeAnthony Mel Melton. I didn't see his name. Showtime, Richard Lewis. Oh, oh you got me, 2K. You got me. The flip all when a card stays there, you know it's going to be good. But then you know it's going to be bad when it's, a, when it's an Amethyst. Who is this? I don't even see all the badges. Carl Anthony Towns. It's a thousand MT. I guess we've got to take it. And then fan favourites three. Problem with these cards is none of them are expensive. Like they're all just that average level of like thirty thousand MT. So okay, I still wouldn't have said no to one, but don't worry, two K. I didn't want one anyway. Uh, so they are the packs done. Unsurprisingly, awful. Now yesterday we made some big moves, but we had thirteen goats yesterday, so one of them has been sold. Can you guys see who's gone? Can you see who's gone? 
Go MJ has gone. So yesterday we bought him for how much did I buy him for? 120k yesterday, uh, and I just bought him because he was really really cheap, and it's Go MJ. So why not? But I saw he was selling for like 200k, so I was like, I don't really want him that badly. So let's go ahead and cash him in because obviously we're going to need MT to buy some of these other goats. So I did sell Michael Jordan. Now, we'll deal with him first, then we'll deal with the other three things here. But Michael Jordan sold for 221k. We got 80,000 MTs worth of profit from selling him. 80k profit. That's huge. Thank you very much indeed. So that puts us now back up at 1.3 mil with these three big... Big cards joining the team. So let's start at the top. Yao Ming. Of course, we sniped him for 100k. If you didn't know, uh, I bought him. I sold him for 330k, and then I bought him back for 300k. So basically, exactly the same as what I bought him for. So kind of irrelevant. But I did think his price was going to come down quite a lot. It didn't. Uh, so yeah, we had to go ahead and upgrade. Or not upgrade, but just go ahead and buy him back again because this card is unbelievably good. Genuinely, I can't believe how strong that card is. And I know how good that card is because we played against him quite a lot in Unlimited. Now, it pains me to go back to this section of the game, guys, because, of course, we were 6-0 yesterday. We were playing uh, on the stream on Twitch, and if you were there, you know what this story's going to be. We were playing on Twitch. The game was just not fun at all. We were playing against people who were hard off balling, so I was just playing against the AI, which is so incredibly boring. And we were winning by, like, 20. I was incredibly bored because I was up by, like, 20. And this guy was still hard off balling like his life depended on it. And I paused it. And I'd ran out of pauses. I'd ran out of pauses. So he, of course, quit. Got the win. We got the loss. And I just went back into one more game. And again, I was up by, like, 30 the entire game. The guy stayed through to the end. It was so boring. It just felt like such a waste of time. Because the game was just done from, like, the first quarter. But he stayed in it. And uh, yeah, so I got myself to 1-0 and oh, and then I haven't touched it again since because that 6-0 and oh, and when he quit, that cut deep, not going to lie. So go Oscar has been put on the back burner for the time being. But of course, with these players, it would be criminal not to play with them. So we will be doing that soon. But anyway, just to quickly check on Yao Ming's price right now. So we bought it for 300. Oh, we did a good. Oh, we did a good. He's up to three set. Bro, the prices are wild right now. We bought team out for 320 yesterday. He's like 360 as well. Jeez, what's Magic at? Even Magic's 160. We paid 140 for him, so I guess he hasn't changed too much. Um, but goddamn, prices are crazy right now. Let's talk about LeBron James, shall we? We went for the small forward, power forward version of the King. And that's just because this card was so cheap. Let's go. I got mine for 400,000 MT flat. 400k on the dot. My max bid was for 20k. And as you saw, I got like 20k back as a refund. So we paid 400k for this card. And that's why I picked him up. Because I could not believe that he was that cheap. And the small forward Giannis is going for like 550. So 150k cheaper for this LeBron James. I couldn't say no, man. I couldn't say no. And then KD... He's one expensive boy. 440,000 MT for Galaxy Opal Goat KD. 440k. Like, god damn, that's expensive. I think that's what he's about right now. So, KD was the most expensive card that I bought today. Uh, but, KD, Yao Ming, and LeBron James. Oh, boy. That is some huge pickups. And that puts us back at 15 out of the 22 goats. Which is pretty damn cool. The ones we don't have. Shaq is back up to like 250, 300k. Very expensive. Point guard LeBron's still at 1.1 mil. Obviously MJ that we just sold. Still coming in at around that 200k mark. Which I don't really, not really see fast about that to be fair. Galaxy Opal point guard Giannis. 1.1 as well. And then the uh, small forward Giannis at 600k. So like I said, I got that Giannis or the LeBron for 200k cheaper than that small forward run right there. So that does need us leaving a point guard obviously for the end game squad right here. Uh, we can now put in the King. And then off the bench, KD. Oh, it almost seems criminal to bring him off the bench. But wait, where is he? Wait, what? He's right in front of me. He's right in front of me. I'm blind. It's, it's fine. I'm blind, guys. Um, oh, I've got to look at the state of this team. But we need one, one player left. 
One player to go, but this team is absolutely unbelievable. Uh, I have changed out my coach. Screw Mike D'Antoni. We're going for Brad Stevens for the defensive capabilities. But a lot of people say that, that does make a big difference when it comes to rebounding. So we're going to try that out and see how it works. But yes, yeah, so we've got 1.3 million. And obviously, you guys know who my sights are set on. And it is that GOAT point guard, Giannis. I have loved that Giannis point guard, the pink diamond card, for so long. We're like I've used it for three 12 no runs, I think. So upgrading to the GOAT card there is going to be mad. Yes, I know LeBron can't shoot, shoot corner threes. But I don't care how much, how many corner threes he's actually going to take, how many points is that going to cost you in the course of a game. I don't think it's going to be many. And uh, if I don't vibe with him, I can just sell him and then get his point guard version instead. It does feel criminal to have KD off the bench, not going to lie. But it's the end of the game and it is now time to buy our best possible squad. And uh, obviously this... This is it. If we can make this a 13-man rotation, which of course we can, probably put Dwayne Wade in there. Probably have Rudy Gay here. And then back up center or third string center. Center? Center. Probably Hakeem. I do really like Dino Raja, but probably Hakeem to be fair. Uh, but look at that team now. Oh my god. Oh my god. Um, like I said, 1.3 mil, but that's with pretty much nothing else in the club to actually sell. I think that's I was pretty much empty in terms of the club. Um, yeah, all we've got is Goats and Dino Raja left. But very, very happy with that. We've got a couple of things from the packs we just got, which I will go ahead and sell for next episode. But for now, very excited. How much do you want to pay for this Giannis? That is the question. Earlier on, I think I saw one sell for under a million MT. So if I can get one for under a million MT, I think I'm just going to have to ball out, bite the bullet, and just pick him up. We'll still have a couple of hundred thousand MT to spare as well, which is fantastic. Very, very happy with that. And as you can see, I forgot to mention, VC-wise, we are pushing up to 20,000. Of course, we will be getting a guaranteed GOAT pack. Uh, for real, not clickbait, but we will get one. Uh, I'm not lying to you guys. We will get one of these in the next few days. I don't know when that will be. Might be tomorrow's episode. Might be on... Tuesday's episode? I don't know what day it is. Might be Tuesday's episode, uh, but we'll have to wait and see on that one. So, imagine... We pulled one of the point guards. Imagine. Now, we're going to get a John Stockton, which is still... Well, it's not really okay, is it? But it's still like 8,000 MT, I guess. So, better than nothing? Just about. Uh, but yeah, Bron is more expensive at the point guard position. I think people are veering towards him as being the better option at that point guard position. But the fact I could get this card for 400k... 400? I couldn't say no, man. I could not say no. So... We have got a brand new trio today, so it would be very rude not to get some gameplay with them. So let's put all three of these boys into the lineup right here. Yao Ming, KD, and LeBron James Goat, small forward version. Let's see how they do in some TTO action. And I think now, guys, we are just one player away from having my final squad of the year. How mad is that? I think we're one player away from having the final squad... For the year, once we get Giannis in there, I think that's going to be it. And obviously, we'll get the 12-0. We'll get Oscar Robertson. And that'll be our... How many goats we have right now? We've got 15. Add in Giannis, that's 16. Add in Oscar Robertson, that's 17. And then I think we could probably buy an MJ. Oh, this guy's got three goats as well. Not quite on the same level. And we could probably buy an MJ, which gets up to 18 out of the 22. And then the only goats we'd be missing would be Shaq. Vince Carter, and then the other versions of LeBron and Giannis, which, of course, would be completely pointless to get. So, I don't know, maybe we'd buy a Shaq as well, just so we can say we've got as many goats as is possible in my budget. Uh, that's a tough moving shot there with Tim Duncan, but he's hit it, so fair enough. Fair enough. Uh, if you're asking me to tween with LeBron James, I don't know how to do it, and I don't want to know how to do it, because I want to live without that cheese in my life, not going to lie. Uh, this guy's going to off-ball classic stuff. Three goats, doesn't matter, still off-balling. You hate to see it. But it doesn't matter. We've got Yao Ming. we got Yao Ming out here. And uh, how sway that's gone through my league. That's gone through my leg. And that don't make no sense. Oh, I really want to use that KD. I really want to use Tracy McGrady more though. There's just too many cards, boys. There's just too many cards out here. He's off-balling. So, yeah, we're going to get a lot of rim running done this game. Don't know how many threes we're going to get. But hopefully we'll be able to get a couple of snatchback threes going at least. So I want to get a green light with pretty much all of these guys. That's not a good shot. 
There we go. Yamin gets his first rebound of the game. I see Mr. LeBron James with a pull-up three with the pull-up brick. Not ideal. Not going to lie. Definitely not ideal. Miscommunication right here. Gives him a wide open mid-range with Timmy D. And he's going to hit that one. Okay. Okay. I hate playing against the AI, guys. I swear. If next year's the same with the AI just being so powerful and off-ball being so... Let's go, LeBron. Such a viable tactic. It's going to be a long year, boys. But LeBron James off the peak right there gets the three to go. We don't quite manage to get the steal right there. You hate to see it. Hello? Nice oop. Not many people would have ooped that. I rate it. All right, so we've got a green with Mr. LeBron James. So now it is KD's time. And again, he's got that really, really nice behind the back. Gets straight to the rim. Literally pushes Tim Duncan out the way. Very nice. Okay, can we just get one stop out here? That doesn't make any sense, but okay. <laughs> hey, this game is wild. I swear, this game is wild. It's fine. It's worked for the best because we've got... There you go. Two's a good, three's a better. Two's a good, three's a better, and that does put us in the lead in this one, which is what we want to be seeing. I thought it was... Good. Oh, dear, my buttons didn't work. Okay, this guy has not missed a shot, apart from one. And I think we haven't missed a shot either. This has been a very, very bad game of TGO for me, not going to lie. KD for another three, and it's another green. I really like Trace McGrady's... I, like, I really like Trace McGrady's release. But I do also really like KD's release. So I don't know who I'd have at the starting two in my main squad for the end of the year. Would it be KD? Would it be Tracy McGrady? I don't know. We've got KD at 6'10 at shooting guard. I mean, that is powerful. Um, but obviously... Trace from grade at 6'8". That's also pretty damn good. So I'll have to really play about with both those guys. See who I prefer the most. I think you can really like, flip a coin to see who's going to be the most effective out there. KD with another three right there. He's three for three on green lights. That's what I want to see. And we'll see if we can green light a three with Yao to end this game. And then we've green lighted with every single player. How has that ball gone past my hands? I, I, I don't have any answers. I have no answers for you guys. I don't know how that happened. We have got so many close deals. Shoot the ball, I don't care. We've got so many close deals in this game. And he gets that one. I'm going to be so happy when I don't have to play this game anymore. Not going to lie. We've, we've earned all year. We've played this game to get an amazing squad. And I don't want to play with it. Yao Ming for game green. There we go. We green lighted with every player in the squad. Ah, that squad felt really good. LeBron James Goat is here. The KD I'm really excited for. And there's a reason why he's so expensive. And that's because he is just so, so damn good. But like I said, him or Tracy McGrady, that's going to be a tough decision. Um, and then, of course, with the Giannis's and the LeBrons, we can flip between those two, like point guard versions and small forward versions. Um, so we'll have to wait and see. Like I said, I'm probably going to buy the Giannis point guard. We'll see how that plays if I don't really like LeBron at small forward or I don't like Giannis at point guard, which I can't imagine is going to happen because I thoroughly enjoy Giannis as a point guard. Then uh, obviously we can swap those round, sell the point guard Giannis, sell the small forward LeBron, and then buy the point guard LeBron and buy the small forward Giannis. We're going to have the MT to do that because, like I said, we'll probably lose a little bit on tax. And the point guard Giannis is... Point guard LeBron is more expensive and the small forward Giannis is more expensive. So we've got to get the two more expensive variants of the cards. But hey, if they're better, it'll be worth it. We get a Frostbite pack right there. That was actually the fifth ball drop game. I didn't realise that. So we did actually need to get the W out there. So that bodes very, very well for us. We did have three goats. So realistically, we shouldn't be losing. And of course, now going into 12-0 or going into My Team Unlimited, we should really be able to get that goat Oscar. It shouldn't matter if people are off-balling. We should be able to absolutely destroy any and everyone who comes in our path. Ugh, unless we come up against somebody else who's got a team that's equal to ours, which I don't think many people are going to have. We should really steamroll everybody. I feel a little bit more confident now that I've got that Diamond Brad Stevens as my coach. I feel like that should really help with rebounds because in that 12-0 run, Kareem was getting out-rebounded by Eddie Curry. And I don't mean out-rebounded by, like, in the box score, Eddie Curry had more. No, I mean, like, Kareem had Eddie Curry boxed out and Eddie Curry worms his way in front of Kareem. Like, I know worm is a badge that Eddie Curry has, but Kareem's got box, which should negate that. So... That didn't sit well with me. Yao was pushing Kareem out of the way on rebounds as well. And so was Wilt Chamberlain, I think, as well. So Kareem, I don't know if he's been nerfed or something. But for me, he really did not play too well. And I was preferring to have Wilt Chamberlain out there uh, because of Wilt Chamberlain's eight-foot wingspan. So, yeah, Kareem, I don't know, bro. 
Is he going to be in that main squad at the end of the year? I don't know. Like I said, I'm really starting to like Wilts more. And a lot of people are saying Shaq that is, is now one of the uh, the better options at that centre position or the power forward position. So, I don't know. Maybe we'll buy a Shaq, try him out. Like I said, by the end of this year, I just want to have as many GOAT cards as I can possibly have. We've got 15, 16 with Oscar Robertson, 17 with Giannis, 18 with MJ, 19 with Shaq. I think that's a reasonable way to go. I think we could possibly have 19, and then obviously the only three that we won't have will be Vince Carter, uh, Giannis, and the other LeBron, which is fine. So if we can have 19 by the end of the year, I'm going to count that as a huge W, and uh, maybe then we'd save up. I don't think, know about saving up, but if we had the MT, we'd lock in for Vince, but I really don't think we're going to because that set is very expensive right now. Ben Simmons is back up to like 250k, 300k. Kawhi's 250k. Like, Vince Carter's now going to set you back sort of like 700k. 700k for a card. Like, yeah, he's incredible, but you could buy Tracy McGrady for 300k. Like, it don't make no sense. So, yeah, I, I don't know about that. But if it does come down to like the last couple of weeks of 2k and I've got nothing else to do, then sure, I'll do it. Just because why not? When we come back to this account next year, oh boy, we're going to see where we left ourselves. A fantastic, fantastic account. Right, we've got two Frostbite Deluxe Packs to open up. Before we end today, I was going to say the best we could get is a Pink Diamond, but it doesn't matter. We get an Amethyst anyway. Uh, who is it in these packs? It's, I was about to say KD. It's Magic Johnson and Anthony Davis in these Frostbite, pack, Frostbite Packs. I don't imagine they sell for anything. But it'd still be nice to get something out of one pack one, once upon a time, 2k. We opened up so many of those goat packs. We got two goats, but they were the really bad ones. We opened up so many NBA's back, backpacks. And I haven't forgotten about how bad they were. Trust me, guys. It still haunts my dreams how bad those NBA's backpacks were. But anyway, that is going to do it, guys. 15 goats now in the club. And my sights are now firmly set on this boy right here. So look at that. This one's selling for under a mil. So I just need to make sure I've got that bid on it beforehand. And I don't know, maybe in the morning time, I'll be really lucky and get one sneak through for, for under 950k or 900k. That'd be amazing if so. So that's going to happen in the next couple of days, hopefully, guys. But for now, Tim Duncan. Tim Duncan? No. For now, LeBron James, Yao Ming, and KD are in the squad. And I'm very, very happy about that. So I think that costs us about a million MT. I don't know. It's a big spending spree. Uh, and still a mil to go. But that's where we're at right now. So Kareem, not too keen on him, but that's why we've got Will Chamberlain down there as well. And if I really don't like him, then uh, we could bring in Adina Raja at the four and have Will at the five, or bring in Hakeem as well. That's another option. But this is where we're at right now, guys. Hope you have enjoyed this episode. And like I said, stay tuned for this week, because point guard Goat Yarnish should be coming home, and uh, that is going to complete our squad. And oh my God, it's absurd. Hope you guys have enjoyed this episode. As usual, please like, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Peace.